Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see one more interesting topic, which is a web socket. And we are going to see this with a small demo also. That demo is present on a Spring Boot IO project also. I have just copied that and did some modification and tried to explain on the basis of my changes. Okay, so here we are using a JavaScript and the jQuery as our front end client and the backend client we are using as a Spring Boot. WebSocket is a layer above our TCP protocol and using a Storm protocol, we are, it, is, it is a sub protocol above the WebSocket and that using that protocol, we communicate from the client to server and server to client. Once we create a socket between a client and the server, so in as shown in this diagram, I am creating as a GS guide web socket between a client and server. So once we create that socket, we will creating a two entries. One is our subscribe queue and second is our endpoint. So that I'm going to explain you with the help of next diagram. In this, you can able to see client will call your server's endpoint as like app slash hello and will put message to this server using this endpoint. Once server get the request from this endpoint, it will process that and it in return, it will send the message to the new topic slash greetings queue. And this is a messaging queue. You can call it as a simple one. And to this queue, our client has been subscribed. So once anything comes into this queue, it will read that and it will show in your client. So this is a simple diagram which explains how the WebSocket works. Now I'm going to show you this with a Spring Boot and JavaScript example. So this is my uh, Java Spring Boot application. So this is a messaging storm WebSocket. And in that I have a form dependencies as a Spring Boot Starter WebSocket I have added and other things, other dependencies such as uh, like WebSocket from the Storm and then Bootstrap, jQuery, Socket, Soc.js client. These are the and WebJar Locator code. So these four dependencies are not provided by the Web Spring Boot. We have to add that manually, which I have added. And you can see into my form.xml also. I am going to upload this project into our GitHub repository from that you can download and check. Now as shown in our diagram, I am providing a web controller. I am providing a, a controller. So this is our endpoint, which is a hello. This hello will be a call by our person one and its result I am and all these contents I am. You can do the data massaging and then you can send this response to your greetings one. Greetings one is a listen by our person two. This is message mapping which is exposed for your client and the same two messages exposed to your server. So on greetings one, this is a JMS kind of things on which client is listening and this is for your server. Now these two endpoints I have created and one is for person one and one is for person two. Now I'm going to tell you how this works before exposing this APIs, hello API to our client, we have to do some configuration also. That is a WebSocket configuration where we are creating a broker, which is a slash topic, like a topic. And through that broker, our server is communicating to our client. And this is our application context, which you can write anything. Then this is an endpoint, which is considering as our socket. So socket will be created through this endpoint between our server and client. These two classes are required for our server side configuration, server side due implementation. Now I'm going to show you client side. So client side I am creating using a jQuery and JavaScript. This example is already there on our Spring Boot IO project. I have did modification to create a chat application from that. So I'm going to show you that there is a one main method which is a client which is a connect it will connect to our socket this is our socket 
once we connect to the socket we are exposing our endpoints through endpoints we are calling to our server and server is exposing some queues on that queues our client is subscribing i am subscribing to a greetings and that greetings i am showing it to a person to's list and on greetings one i am consuming and that i am showing it to a person once okay this is it so now there is, there is one method which is a send which is calling our as i shown in our diagram like our client will call hello and our server will put message into greetings one so client is calling our app slash hello and putting the json object into that and that is accessed here in our greetings controller from message we are reading get name and putting into our greetings one and that greetings one i am showing into our persons two okay now these two methods like send name and connect disconnect is also there show greetings is reading the content from your greetings sorry from message and appending into the greetings our this is html component html element to that i am up, appending in this uh, this is a purely html file where i am having a two div one is for person one and one is for the person two so before that i have a one, three form total one is for the connect where i am connecting to the our web socket once you connected to web socket i am having a one div in that i am having a person one so this is a form in this i am entering into the our input one and sending to our server and all the comments things coming from the server i am put, putting into the our client so this is html and in that html i have imported a jquery 331 minjs and socket minjs and storm minjs okay and app dot js this is created by us and these three dependencies i have downloaded and put it into my static folder now in server in application dot properties i have added the uh, my port number i have run this application and in if you see this in our browser it looks like this so web socket connection if you click on our connect our socket gets connected you can see i think logs on our console also yes so this is sending the connection to the server and it is subscribing to our topic that greetings subscribing to our subscriber one subscriber to greetings one greetings and greeting one okay now we are going to do the communication between our person one and person two so person one person two from person one i am sending person two and that is going to show into our person two this is going going to call our endpoint which is a slash hello and slash hello putting messages into our greetings one which is consumed by the person one now i am sending from the person one and it is going to show into our person one this is going this is a simple chat application which we have created using our web socket instead of putting all the messages uh into a separate separate box we can add that into your a simple whatsapp type of chat also but to show the difference i have added that in a different div block okay this is it about a web socket implementation using a javascript and the web spring boot web socket i hope you like this video and if you like such types of video please do like to my videos and share with your friends also subscribe my channel it motivates me to do more things thank you and happy coding